Welcome to the ACSA Personal Hub. To sign in, you will need to enter your ACSA student ID and password and click the Sign In button. Once signed in, you will see the Personal Hub homepage with the My Profile tab already selected. Here, you can view your personal account information, request a password reset, and if you are responsible for your company's core and or health and safety management system, then you can also access your company's member hub by clicking on the company name. Information on this page comes directly from your current student portal with the ACSA, so any updates to this information can be easily done by you if needed. The request and audit page allows for individual audit requests. This allows you to conduct an audit for the purposes of gaining or maintaining your auditor status. If you have recently completed the Auditor Training Program, ATP, then you will be able to apply for an Auditor Certification Audit, or if you are a Certified Auditor, then you can apply for an Auditor Maintenance Only Audit here. On the Current Audits page, you can see a list of your audits in process. You can follow along with the status of your audit, including visibility for if any clarifications are required. On the completed audits page, you can find a list of all audits that have been finalized and closed. You can sort by the headings to find the specific audit you need. Clicking Audit ID will open a brief overview of the audit, including information on that WCB accounts that were included and the names of the auditors who participated. You can also access and download copies of your finalized audit reports. Audit history from approximately the last four years has been imported into the My Audit system. On the My Courses tab, there is a course summary heading. Underneath the heading, you will see a list of the ACSA training courses you have successfully completed that are required for core auditing only. Only courses that were successfully completed in the past 10 years will be listed. It does not reflect your complete course history. You can sort by course name, course status, registration date, and completion date. These sorting options help you find specific courses. If you need assistance accessing your certificates or have questions about your completed courses, please visit your current ACSA student profile. Should you wish to register for additional courses, please visit our website or contact our registration support team for assistance. Should you wish to sign out of your personal hub, then you may do so by clicking the sign out link at the top of the page. Welcome to the ACSA personal hub. To sign in, you will need to enter your ACSA student ID and password and click the sign in button. Once signed in, you'll see the Personal Hub homepage with the My Profile tab already selected. You can access your company's member hub via your My Profile tab on your Personal Hub by clicking on your company name under the Company Access heading. We will click on the company name to be brought to the company's member hub. Welcome to your company's member hub. Here you can view your company's account information such as company name, trade name, WCB account number, and industry code. This page also displays your contact information, phone and email. You can request changes to your company information by emailing the core department, core at youracsa.ca. My audit offers companies the ability to have more visibility into their core certifications. You can view your core summary, which outlines your current core information. It provides information such as certificate number, core expiry, and confirms the date for your next core certification audit and potentially your next core maintenance audit. All this is a great way to help you and your company stay on track of your core requirements. You can also access your Auditor Hub at any time by clicking on the Return to My Profile button. Let's click on the Key Personnel tab to see what this page looks like. The Key Personnel page lists the senior managers and key contacts for your company according to ACSA records. To make changes to this list, please fill out the update form and email it to core at youracsa.ca. Now let's click on the Request and Audit tab. This page shows your available audit options. Let's click on the next tab, Audit History, to see what that looks like. 
Audit history. This page makes it easier for a company to stay on top of your audits. You can see the information on any active audits in process, which lists information such as audit ID, audit end date, lead auditor name, and confirms if those were a group or a team. You can also view your company's past audits. You can easily sort the audit history records too by clicking on the heading such as type. This will group and display all audits of the same type, such as core certifications or core maintenance. Let's now have a look at the peer program information by clicking on the peer program information tab. The peer program information page. This is for companies who choose to utilize the peer program as an alternative option to hiring a consultant auditor for certification audits. This page is a valuable resource. It provides a clear overview of the credits used and owing, making it easier to monitor your company's peer day obligations and organize reciprocation. And finally, let's click on the interaction log. This page will show emails sent related to the company's core. In my audit at the top of the screen, you can see three links. The first link that says hi, followed by your name, leads to your personal hub. The second link leads to the ACSA's website. And the final link, sign out, allows you to sign out of my audit. At the bottom of the page, in both personal and member hubs, you can see links to other valuable resources, an FAQ, and a link to contact us. This is the end of our member hub walkthrough. Should you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to the Core CS department by phone or by emailing core at youracsa.ca.